I took all of our high-res photos of the Sony Nintendo prototype and I put them into a zip folder. I then uploaded that folder to my own website and posted a link to it on Twitter. And I said, hey, does anyone want to help us try to find a replacement CD-ROM lens for this prototype unit? Because we believe that's the missing link. The uh, laser doesn't work anymore. And lo and behold, someone on Twitter found this. And they have this drive you can buy. I mean, the photos aren't great and they're watermarked for some reason. You know, I'm totally gonna try to steal these as clip art. So anyway, what I did was I took these photos and I cross-referenced them with the photos that we had of the inside of the prototype. So I counted the pins on the ribbon cable and they matched. There's uh, 29 total, I believe. And if you look, it has the solder pad there and there. It actually matches up pretty good. Then I did another comparison. This one here, glider arm, right? And this one has a proper part number on it, which is good. The prototype didn't. So what I did was I took this image here and I overlaid it onto the unit. And see, it's a pretty good match. Okay, there's the unit. There's that. Here, let's turn up the transparency. The only thing I can see that's a little different is this solder pad has moved a little bit. See in this replacement unit, this ribbon cable comes out in that direction. And on this one, it doesn't come out as far, but it's about the same thing. Oh, something else, if you look here, see how this ribbon cable goes into a zero insertion force socket? And on the prototype unit, it's soldered directly to the board. They probably did that just to save money, but the connections look the same. So yeah, this could be a winner, winner chicken dinner. See how all these other pads, these are the motor drives here. This is the switch. So yeah, I've been talking to Terry Diebold about possibly doing a follow-up repair of this unit, maybe at a future gaming convention when we're both there. And yeah, if we can find the parts, maybe we can get the laser working and get that system to boot some of the custom video games that people have put on the CD-ROM.